Hello and welcome back everyone, this is Sankan again here bringing you another video and in this video we are going to look into differential calculus and how it relates to Minecraft. But to start off we need to know what is differential calculus. Differential calculus is a method to describe a line's path using the rate of change of its variables. But to better understand differential calculus we are first going to look at integral calculus. In mathematics, integral calculus is the method of finding the area underneath a line. For those who don't already know, the area in mathematics is a way of describing the amount of space taken up by a given shape. For example, the area of a rectangle is defined to be the product of the length of its two sides. So as I was saying before, integral calculus is a series of methods of finding the area underneath a line. So let's do a few examples, shall we? First, we are going to integrate the line y equals 2x. So we have to find the area under this graph, or more specifically, the area between the line and the x-axis. Now, there are two methods of doing this. We could find a numerical value of the area between two different values of x, or we could solve it explicitly. First, we are going to find the area numerically between x equals 0 and x equals 2. And then after that, we are going to find the area explicitly using algebraic integration. And then I will show you that we get the same answer as with the numerical integration. So, first we start with numerical integration. First we draw in the lines x equals 0 and x equals 2. Now we can see exactly what area we are trying to find. This area is the area of a right angled triangle, with base of length 2 and height of length 4. The area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle of the same dimension. Thus, the area of this triangle, and thus the area beneath the line, is 2 times 4 divided by 2, which is 4. Now we're going to move on to explicit algebraic integration. To explicitly integrate our equation y equals 2x, we should first write this slightly differently. Instead, we shall write this as y equals 2x to the power of 1. So the technique is to take the order of x, which is this number here, and increment it by 1, producing y equals 2x squared. Then we take our expression for y and divide through by the new order of x. This gives us y equals x squared. Finally, we have to add a constant of integration. Let's call this constant c. Now, to show this is correct with respect to our other answer, we simply find the difference between y at x equals 2 and y at x equals 0. Therefore, we get the integral of 2x dx equals 2 squared plus c minus 0 squared plus c. This is equal to 4 plus c minus c, which is 4 plus 0, and that's 4. And as you can see, the answer to our explicit integration is exactly the same as the answer to our numerical integration. So, back to differential calculus. What is the method for differentiation? Well, the method for differentiation is just the reverse of integration. So if 2x goes to x squared when integrated, x squared must go to 2x when differentiated. So to differentiate x to the power of n, we first multiply our equation by the order of x, producing n x to the n. Then we decrement the order by 1 to produce n x to the n minus 1. And that's how easy differentiation is. So the differential with respect to x of x to the n is n x to the n minus 1. For more complex lines and curves, we can use the theory of series expansions, which states that any line or curve 
must be able to be expressed as a linear combination of a n times x to the n, where a1, a2, all the way up to a n are all constants in the real domain. Even cyclic functions such as circles or sine waves can be expressed as a series expansions. This makes life a hell of a lot easier for us. Now guys, if you are a bit worried that you haven't understood anything fully so far, I would strongly advise you to replay the video from the beginning. In the next part, we are taking differential calculus to the next level and looking into how this relates to Minecraft. So if you didn't understand even a tiny bit of the video before this, you might get completely lost in the rest of the video. So once again, I would strongly advise you to re-watch the video. In physics, differential and integral calculus is extremely useful. If you've ever heard of the Suvat equations, they have been figured out using differential and integral calculus. Now, we will derive the Suvat equations together. So, we know that A, or acceleration, is the rate of change of velocity with time. That is, A equals dv by dt. This implies that A dot dt equals dv. Therefore, we can say the integral between 0 and time t of a dot dt equals the integral between u and v of 1 dot dv. This gives our first Suvat equation, v equals u plus at. Next, we know v, our velocity, is the rate of change of distance over time. Therefore, v equals dx by dt. This implies dx equals v dot dt. And as we've already found out, v equals u plus at. So we can replace v in this equation with u plus at, producing u plus at dot dt equals dx. Therefore, the integral between x0, our initial point, and x, of 1 dot dx is equal to the integral between 0 and our time t times u plus at dot dt. Therefore, s equals ut plus a half at squared. This is our second Suvat equation. Finally, we know that a is dv by dt and that v equals dx by dt. Now, if we solve both of these equations for dt and then compare them, we get dt is equal to dv divided by a, which is also equal to dx divided by v. By expanding both sides of the equation, we get a dot dx equals v dot dv. This implies that the integral between our initial point x0 and our final point x of a dot dx is equal to the integral between our initial velocity u and our final velocity v of v dot dv. Therefore, sa equals v squared minus u squared over 2, which implies v squared equals u squared plus 2as. This is the third and final Suvat equation we need. So what does differential calculus have to do with Minecraft, you may ask? Absolutely nothing! But guys, that's all I have time for in this video. I hope you learned something new, and I guess I'll see you again in the next video.
Na 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 na